Hello there, and welcome to part two um, on this series, which is how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So, you should have your whole first layer done, and in this video, we are going to work on solving the first and, or, sorry, the second and last layer. So, for solving the uh, second layer, you're going to want to have your yellow side up for now, okay? And what you're going to look for is any edge piece that doesn't have yellow on it. Okay, here's one right here. This piece is blue and red. So we're going to rotate this blue and red piece until it gets, it lines up the top piece with this red center. Um, and then we're going to look just to the left or right and look at, so we know we have blue is the other color. So we, and we have blue over here. So we know the, this piece over here needs to go here. So we can have red here. And blue here so this piece right here needs to go into this position whichever way it's going you're gonna move uh, this piece 90 degrees the opposite way if it's going right you move it 90 degrees left if it's going right I mean left you're moving it 90 degrees right okay and there we go now our piece is right here so now we're gonna rotate um, we need this piece to go from here to here so we're gonna rotate the bottom layer from left to right then we're going to go ahead and bring the layer down that we need the piece to go in. So we need it to go in right here. So we're just going to bring this layer down 90 degrees. And we're just going to move the middle layer in there. Now we can just bring that layer 90 degrees back up. And our white side got a little bit messed up. So we're just going to bring up our white side. And we want to get this middle piece back in. So if we just move it up. But that bumps all of those pieces out of the way. So we're just going to um, quickly move this piece out of the way. We're going to bring this middle side down. We're going to bring the white side back up. And we're just going to push it back up. So now we have our first piece in. Okay. We're going to go to the bottom and see if we have any more. No, we don't. But if you can notice, they are already in the second layer. So we need to get those out. We're basically going to pretend that... Or we're not going to pretend. We're just going to put this piece into this position to get that piece out. So it's going from... Um, uh, well, it's going to the right, so we're going to move it left. We're going to move the bottom layer 90 degrees right. It's going left to right. Then we're going to rotate the layer we want it to go in 90 degrees down. So we want it to go up here, so we're just going to rotate it 90 degrees down. And then we're going to take our piece and just go ahead and put it in. Now we're going to rotate it 90 degrees back up. We can rotate uh, the white side back, oops, sorry, up into its position. We're going to rotate this piece out of the way so we don't mess the top pieces up. And we're just going to bring it back into the puzzle. There we go. Now, our piece is here. So, we're going to rotate it until it gets there. Okay, here it is. We're going to move it. So, it's going from left to right. So, again, we're going to move it left. It's going from left to right. So, we're going to move this bottom layer left to right. We're going to bring it 90 degrees down. And we're going to move the middle layer in there. Okay, there we go. Now, we're just going to um, bring that 90 degrees up. Bring this back into the white side, move this out of the way, bring the middle layer down, and go ahead and put the white piece back in. That can go back up. Alright, we have two more uh, edges to do. Okay, so uh, there here is one. We're just going to go ahead and needs to go into this position, so right here, so we're moving it. It's going uh, right, so we're going to move it left. It's going from left to right, so we're going to go ahead and rotate the bottom layer left to right. We're going to bring the position we need down 90 degrees. We're going to move the middle layer up, and then we're just going to move everything back in. We're going to move it out of the way, and there we go. Okay. So, now as you can see, we just need one more piece, which is flipped the wrong way. So we're going to take it out and put it back in. Okay, we're going to do that same thing. It's going from left to right, so we're going to move it left, left to right, 90 degrees down, back in, bring 90 degrees up. Oh, uh, sorry. Whoa, okay. 
There we go. Fix the light side. Move it out of the way. Bring the middle down. And bring the light side in. I'll bring it out. Okay, now here it is. We're just going to rotate 90. It's going from right to left, so we're going to move it this way. It's going from left to right, left to right. Move this piece down where we want it to go. Just push it in. Bring it back up. Whoopsies, let me just fix that. Sorry. My foot on the desk. That'll have to do. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Where were we? Oh, that's right. Bring this piece up. Move this out of the way. Bring this down. Bring it in and up. Now, our whole second layer should be solved. So, now we're moving on to the last layer. Now, I'd recommend getting a pad and paper out. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Uh, never mind, whatever. So, I recommend getting a pad and paper out because you're going to have to remember some algorithms right now. Okay. So, there um, are a couple different cases from in this side. You can either have a white, yellow cross, you can have a horizontal line, or you can have an L. Okay. In this case, we have a horizontal cross. The good thing is, depending on whichever one you have, it's all the same algorithm. Nothing changes. So, we're going to do this algorithm. Front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. And you do that as many times as you need to get this white cross in. Or, sorry, yellow. Once that's in, we need to get these pieces to their right centers, okay? So, we see two of them are right, and we're just going to rotate it once and um, get it out of the way. If it's like this... We can go ahead and just use our an algorithm to get it out and then just rotate it one. And I'm going to just demonstrate that for you. It's going to look like this. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. And there you go. Now if we just rotate it once to the right, or because I didn't need to do that algorithm, it's not going to work for me, but you're just going to rotate it one to the right, and you should have it lined up. I will have to do it another time myself, so right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. There we go. So now, you can just rotate it once, and now we have a red side here. So basically what this algorithm does is it keeps, the, so you want to have the right, the face that has the right color facing you always. And what it basically does is it keeps this right and it rotates these clockwise to each other. So we're just going to do this twice to get this blue side here, this green side, one, two over here, and so on and so forth. So, okay, follow along. Right, up, right inverted. Up, right, up, up, right inverted. There you go. Now we do it one more time. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right. There you go. Now, you do as many times as you need to align your pieces. I like to have the green side facing me. It doesn't matter. The next step to solving the Rubik's Cube is to go ahead and put the yellow corners in the right place. So what we need to do, yes, another algorithm. And this time the algorithm goes like this. Well, first, before we start the algorithm, you have to know that the if there's a piece that's in the right position, like if you see, if I just turn this, it will go in the right position. So that's a good visual. And so you know there's these all these colors, this is in the right position. So all we have to do is keep this in the bottom right-hand corner and go ahead and complete our algorithm. It goes like this. Top, right, top, left. Top inverted. No, sorry. Top, right inverted, top, left. Okay. I might have messed that up. I'll leave it in the description just in case. Okay. So now you do as many times as you need. Um, I guess... Probably maximum three or four, but yeah, maximum I'd say three. So now they're in their right positions, but they need to be orientated correctly. So 
the yellow side gets up, the green side is here, and the orange side is here. The way we're going to do this is this algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. We're going to do that as many times as we need to get this uh, yellow piece orientated correctly. Then we're going to rotate it once and do this algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 Okay, so do that as many times as you need. And now there's one last step to solving the Rubik's Cube. You just turn the face until it lines up. And if you follow along, you should have your Rubik's Cube solved. Thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And yeah, leave a comment if there's anything I should improve. I know there's lots. Um... I probably didn't do the greatest job and I went too fast. Make sure you tell me. And for the next time I solve, uh, possibly the uh, Mega Minx here. I might do a video on how to solve this puzzle. Yeah, make sure you leave some constructive criticism in the comments so I know what to improve if I ever do another uh, tutorial. Yeah, so thanks for watching this series. And I hope you liked it and it was helpful. Yeah. Uh, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.